Does it matter which buttonhole you put your pocket watch chain through? I keep mine around the middle to low, but I see a lot of people going up to the top. Probably one of those you do you things, but I thought I would ask. Top would almost be awkward, I would think. I can't tell you, Joe. Yeah. Um, yeah, top. It basically yes. There is a um, there is convention with this, um, but people will, will change it up, you know, based on what they think looks cool. Uh, I think yeah, top button looks a little awkward for sure. What the hip but, kids are doing these yeah, days? Yeah, what those hip those hip kids with their pocket watches. Um, yeah, when steampunk was big ten years ago, yeah, that would be the case. But to cut to the chase, the answer is basically you're usually going for a buttonhole which is above the line of the pockets on the waistcoat. Okay. Usually that means it's going to be about the third button up. Uh, most vests will have five or occasionally six buttons, like this one has six. Um, but you basically go th up to the third one, and that's that's standard. Is basically you just want to make sure that the chain is above the line of the pocket, so you get that 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 swoop, that loop. Yeah, going from from yeah. up down into the pocket. Um, that's basically it. The other advice is that um, typically you will have they will say to have the chain go to your off your non-dominant hand. So if I were right-handed. I would have the chain going to the left so that I can still talk to you and check the time with my off hand. That doesn't work to me because I'm clumsy with my right hand. So I actually have this on my dominant hand side. But standard advice is that you have the pocket watch on your non-dominant side so that you can keep your main hand doing other things while you're just checking your watch to see if you can get the hell out of this conversation. Um, there you go. So one little aside I thought of I was going to bring up since Joe had asked the question is um, some guys will get confused based on the chain that came with their watch. So I just want to demonstrate this fact right here. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. It's like, uh, there we go. That is a standard pocket watch bar. It's often called an Albert bar. Uh, it's basically the little T-shaped thing uh, which comes with chains which are meant to go through a buttonhole. Either a buttonhole on a vest or occasionally if you're being really fogeyish, it goes through the boutonniere uh, hole on your jacket if you're doing like a early 20th century look. That is different from what you may find if you bought a watch in a department store a lot of time. Excuse me while I whip dun, this out. Dun, dun. Which is a, a watch chain, which is what's called Ooh. with this. I'll put it against my vest so you can see that again. Can you see that? Probably can't. Yeah, I'll down. fix it in post. Here it is. Um, it's a clip, which is meant to go over your, uh, your pants. So this is not the one you want if you're wearing a pocket watch with a vest. You can make it work. You can basically shove, shove this, it in the shove hole. this in the <laughs> hole, and then take up the extra slack because a, a, a pants chain is going to be a lot longer than a vest chain. So, get the extra slack down in behind the vest, um, and let it hang there, hidden. Um, this this one actually currently has my car key on it. But uh, so that's that's the answer. If you're ever confused by the thing that you have on the end of the chain, that's go what's going on with that. Um, not many people these days wear a double watch chain, which is where you have the, the chain for the watch, and then you have a second chain that goes through past the T-bar to another chain for a watch fob. If you do that, then it is going through that third hole up, so you try and make the arcs as symmetrical as possible between the watch and the fob. I do love symmetry. So you should probably get a, a proper watch chain with a fob. I've never seen you wear a pocket watch, though. So. I, I used to, but here's the problem. I never would check it. I don't care what time it is. Mm -hmm. I'll have my, I have mm -hmm. a phone for time. Right. Like, if right. I'm going to be checking like, So I, I, just, I, can't, I can't wear watches. I can't wear you know, mm -hmm. pocket watches. Well, that's why I was Nothing. toying around with putting my car key on, on the chain. Yeah. Just for the heck, for the heck of it. But, um, but yeah, it's, uh, I, I still love them. I still love them. I have a small collection of them, a couple I inherited. Um, but, yeah, apparently Prince Albert was the one who popularized the T-bar. Okay. It's sometimes called an Albert Bar, because he supposedly, well, he didn't invent it, but he popularized it, so. Nice. Go Victorians. Yay, go Team Victorian. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you found that useful, by all means, please do subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you get the notifications and all that good stuff. You know how it goes. Cut! That's a wrap, people! Let's get out of here! I wasn't done. I, I wasn't done yet. <laughs>